Roadrunner High Speed Online offers you the hottest deal ever. Roadrunner Tuner means music like that. Call now and get Roadrunner installed free. Roadrunner is fast. <laughs> get Roadrunner for just $9.95 per month for the first three months. TV, phone, online at the same time. But you have to act fast. Call Time Warner today. Roadrunner saves the day. Roadrunner High Speed Online from Time Warner Cable. The fun starts here. Time Warner Digital Cable shines with more great premium movies on a multitude of stars channels. Watch Hollywood's brightest superstars shine on stars, day and night, commercial free. And you won't suffer any penalties if you cancel service, as with Satellite's long-term contract. So call Time Warner Cable today and upgrade to digital. Time Warner Cable, the very best in TV, keeps getting better. Now. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume, pump up the volume, dance. Pump up the volume and let the music play. It's Absolute 80s. Yeah. Absolute 80s is packed with almost two hours of top hits from 24 of your favorite artists. Get these two brand new CDs free with your paid subscription to Entertainment Weekly. Absolute 80s in any store, and it's free when you subscribe to Entertainment Weekly. Entertainment Weekly is the ultimate guide to popular culture. Your inside track on trends, styles, and personalities. In-depth, intelligent, and up to the minute. Call now and get 30 issues for four monthly installments of only $5.99. That's over 70% off the cover price. credit card and call now to get these mega hits. Save on Entertainment Weekly and get two Absolute 80 CDs free. Call now and don't miss a beat. On the next Cartoon Theater double feature. We're over budget. Jellystone Park is being closed. To avoid life in the zoo, Yogi and Boo Boo become fugitives from the law. Come back here. Then, Tweety takes off on a trip around the globe, but Sylvester is right on his tail. No foreign Pussy cat's gonna nap my lunch. Cartoon Network's Cartoon Theater presents Yogi's Great Escape, followed by Tweety's High Flying Adventure, Saturday at 5 on Cartoon Network. uneventful. Mojo turned me into a dog, but the girls turned me back again. Okay, bye. Dear Diary, Hi, 
I thought I'd write to you while me and my second-in-command explore a mysterious, barren world. If anything should happen to us, our ship will be leaderless. But what the hey? Captain! Move! What is it? Ding is neat. Baru ping. Dot. Mappy wappy. Ding. An alien life form. <laughs> Put down your weapon, Dingus Knee. Uh, just put down your weapon. This is our first encounter with this species. I want to show that we wish everyone peace. Except little Timmy. I hate that kid. Anyway. <laughs> in the big city. Chapter One, Ain't Mutton Better. The big city! Some say it's a dangerous jungle of meanness filled with dangerously mean, dangerous people. That's us. For the rest of us, the big city is a happy urban utopia where neighbor helps neighbor. Take our good friend, Sheep. For instance, his little touches of gallantry make the big city a better place to live. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, sirree, Bob. You can always count on sheep if you need to borrow a cup of sugar, a pound of flour, a roast chicken, or maybe just a helping hand. General Specific could use one of those helping hands because he can't seem to capture sheep no matter... Excuse me! I think I'm quite able to explain my own shortcomings. Thank you, Family Public. I've had it up to here with our failures to capture that sheep. You've had it up to two foot four, sir? Precisely. That mad scientist had better have a foolproof plan to capture sheep. Angry. I am an angry scientist. Must I be in the writing down of my name for you? Maybe I'd remember your name if you could come up with a good plan to capture sheep. It is a funny thing and you should be mentioning capturing sheep. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't so funny. Anywho. I have been updating the plot device's hard drive, soft drive, and squishy drive. Now it is being the world's most powerful net supercomputer. Supercomputer, eh? Can it leap a building in a single bound? No, it is being only very smart. Two bounds? No! No bounding. It is supering. Only in that it can making a planning so smart, it must be capturing sheep. Well, that's brilliant work, scientist. I won't be needing you anymore. <laughs> Send in the new super plot device. Hello. You'd think it would at least have a cape or something. So, plot device. The mad scientist... Angry scientist tells me you are now the smartest computer in the world. What's your plan? Sheep is the only sheep in the big city. Therefore, I have hired a super double agent stealth sheep to form a false friendship with sheep and entrap him. Brilliant! Oh, do you have the agent yet? He is coming right now. Ah, Exigent, the very best sheep in discreet illegal spy activity. Confidentiality guaranteed. See my website for client list. Nice card. Will you get out of here? Oh. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Yeah. 
agent. I don't want an ex-agent. I want a current agent. The ex indicates his mysterious name, not his job status, sir. Well, it's pretty confusing. He should come up with another letter, like K, for instance. X is generally accepted to be more mysterious than K. What about L? L is very mysterious. L. L. So, L. as General Specific reacquaints himself with the alphabet, let's watch Sheep as he joins with his fellow big citizens to make this burg a nicer place to live. Cleaning, cleaning, clean, clean, clean. Tom and Barb and Dick and Jean. Cleaning, cleaning, clean, clean, clean. That was rusty, now it's clean. Cleaning, cleaning, clean, clean, clean. No more grime, I'm on the scene. Cleaning, cleaning, clean, clean, clean. I think the cleaning's really keen. Cleaning, cleaning, clean, clean, clean. cleaning. Ba ba, ba ba. I don't know what that might mean. Cleaning, cleaning, clean, clean, clean. We really clean it. We're cleaning up the dump. Cleaning up the dump. Who's gonna clean up all this confetti? And speaking of cleaning up, back at General Specific's secret military base, the diabolical general prepares his plan of diabolicosity instead of cleaning up. Do you have the plan, Major League Ball? They're in the helicopter, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Major investment. Is the helicopter ready? Yes, sir. Whoa. Major historical figure. Sir. Whoa. Never liked him. Everyone going in the helicopter, follow me. Everyone else? <laughs> okay, ex-agent. As soon as you've pulled cheap enough to entrap him, give me a call. And use one of those collect services. I'm tired of paying retail for my covert operations. Is the transport device ready? Yes, sir. Commence transportation! There goes a brave man. Sheep. Brave sheep. That was weird. <laughs> Uh-oh, has Sheep met a new friend? Or will he meet a new end? Will General Specific's diabolical plot succeed? Will this story's ridiculous plot succeed? Stay tuned for the ultra-extraordinary, breathtakingly heady answers in Chapter 2, Pleased to Meet You! But first, this commercial. At We Care Air, you, the customer, are our sole concern. We do everything to ensure you are happy. Are you happy? Huh? Oh, I don't see you smiling. Oh, come on. Let's see some of those curly whites. We're thinking of you all the time. Like when we serve you our home-cooked eight-course meals. Deep-fried liver. I cooked it myself. Just wait till you have the tongue flambe. And when our pilots massage your feet. You know, I could be flying the plane right now, but your feet matter more to me. We care air. Some people say we should concentrate more on flying planes, but we think you're more important. Welcome back to the spine riveting excitement that is Sheep in the Big City! When we left Sheep, he had just met the mysterious ex-agent, a spy stealth sheep hired to entrap our hero so General Specific can capture him and use him in a sheep-powered ray gun! How do you like them apples, Michael Crichton? Chapter 2. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Sheep is over 
overjoyed to learn how much he and his new sheep have in common. For one thing, they're both sheep. Soon the two new friends are having a grand time. <laughs> Operation use that undercover sheep to lull sheep into a false sense of security without him realizing the sense of security is false. Storm is coming along. We could watch the monitor, sir. Good idea, private lessons. Oops, wrong button. Right. Um, sir, unfortunately, the sheep monitoring system is, uh, being upgraded. But how am I going to monitor the X agent's progress? with a, uh, dramatic interpretation of what we think Sheep and the ex-agent are doing right now. Anything, as long as it's better than those Sombrero Brothers. Ugh. I am the Sheep, known as Sheep, who General Specific wants to capture. Hey, that's me! I am the ex-agent Sheep, who will entrap the Sheep known as Sheep. Even now! by you, thanks to General Specific, masterful plan. Good. I will continue fooling you until you are good and fooled. Then I will call General Specific. Things seem to be progressing according to plan. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> you really should try to stop doing that, sir. So, as General Specific continues downsizing his operation, Sheep and the ex-agent are caught in a chess game of intrigue, suspicion, and chess. Sheep feels so lucky he's never had a good sheep friend, someone who he can hang with and play chess with. All of his buddies back at the farm would always play Go Fish. And what about ex-agent? Is he just an efficient entrapment machine? Ah. Or could our villain have a conscience? Ah. Uh-oh! Does this dialing spell doom for sheep? Or does it spell some other word like trouble or capture or even uh-oh? Find out in the foot-poundingly, nail-bitingly delirious chapter three, you hope to do what you hope to do. <laughs> yes, me, sheep's doomed. Patience, my child, patience. The show will be right back. All right, CCFers, we're keeping it rolling with a whole summer of news. New episodes of your favorite cartoon cartoons, that is. Starting at 8, we've got brand new episodes of the Powerpuff Girls, followed by a new Grim and Evil at 8.30, a new Courage every Friday at 9, and a brand new series, Whatever Happened to Robot Jones at 9.30. Then, starting at 10, we're going to show them all again. So keep watching for new episodes on Cartoon Cartoon Fridays, Friday at 8, only on Cartoon Network. Get ready for the hottest action movie of the summer. The play, the play. This Friday, your spy car's a mini. It's not the size, mate. It's how you use it. Go for the ultimate ride. Ah! Austin Powers in Gold Member. Rated PG-13. Advanced screenings this Thursday. Check local listings. Starts Friday everywhere. Is your child protected for the future? For years, Gerber has been telling you about the Grow Up Plan. It's a $5,000 cash value life insurance policy that costs less than a dollar per week. At age 21, the protection doubles to $10,000 with no increase in premium. Call now for your free information package. The Gerber Life Grow Up Plan, a solid investment in your child's future. Call now. Call this toll-free number for free information about Gerber's Grow Up Plan. Call now. 
Now's the time to join America Online, because now you'll get our best offer ever. It's simple. If I can do it, you can do it. If I knew it was this easy, I would have started a long time ago. There's never been a better time to join. That's right. Now's the best time for new members to try AOL. Plug it in and you go. Call one 265 one and get our best offer ever, plus features you'll only find on AOL. When you know you got mail, you hear this really cool voice that says, You've got mail. Oh, I love that. I wonder who that guy is. My single favorite feature has got to be instant messages. It's having a verbal chat electronically. Our free 24-hour customer service representatives are always available by phone. They're very responsive. They speak your language. Nicest, kindest, most patient people I know. Parental controls help keep kids safe. My mom's got it. My dad's got it. Both my brothers got it. AOL has it all. You can have it all, too. Call one 265 Join AOL now and get our best offer ever. America Online. So easy to use. No wonder it's number one. Meanwhile, in the fort of quietude, completely powerful guy prepares for another crime fighting day. The crime of spectrometerograph, my call to action. Bad news, completely powerful guy. Blast of dynamite is on the loose again. The fiend. Criminals, beware. Come is here? Wait a second. Blast of dynamite uses dynamite as his weapon. And I'm quite vulnerable to dynamite, so I'm afraid I can't go, wonderful boy. Darn! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Sir punch -lot just robbed the big city bank, completely powerful guy! Sir punch -a -lot? Why? He's 90% your evil. Wait a second. Sir punch a lot really punches a, a whole lot. And unfortunately, punches really hurt me. So you'd better call right on, man. I can't go. You're kidding. Heroes don't kid, wonderful boy. You see, like most of your big time heroes, I'm a with certain key weaknesses. I'm actually quite invincible. So what would you say if, say, Lord Kickington was on the rampage? Bad for the shins. The jogger of doom. I get cramped. Professor Pollen. Allergies. Dr. Slappy. Stains the face. The Ticklenator. Makes me giggly. You have an excuse for everything. What makes you think you're a hero at all? My heroically large chest, for one. Have you noticed its heroic proportions? Being a hero isn't only about a big chest. It's about helping others, even if sometimes you could get hurt. It's a sacrifice that will you stop that? I'm just trying to help. You're it. And so ends another crime-fightingly day for completely powerful guy. The city may be safe today, but crime will rear its ugly head yet again tomorrow. Ow! I stop my food. Ow! A child. A dance. The look in your friend's eyes. They're important to Biotechnical Corporate Concern Limited Company because, like a doggy's bark, a smile on a rainy day, the last piece of cake, or maybe a flag flapping in the breeze, they represent the best of Biotechnical Corporate Concern Limited Company. Biotechnical Corporate Concern Limited Company. We have no idea what we sell. When we last left Sheep, his supposed new friend, a health chief known as ex-agent, was dialing his employer, General Specific, to entrap Sheep. He was asked to use one of those collect services, which is why he's still dialing. Will Sheep fall prey to General Specific's diabolical plan? Chapter 3.
You hook to do what you hook to do. General Specific speaking. Bah. Who is this? Bah. Uh, agent, uh, where are you? Bah. Why do you keep bleeding? I can't understand bleeding. He cheats, sir. I don't think he can bleed. Then what's the point of him calling? Try telling him to meet you with Chief at the rendezvous place. Okay, okay. Can you meet me with sheep at the rendezvous place? Bah. Is that ba yes or ba no? Bah. Ah! And so, somehow, X agent and General Specific make their plan to entrap sheep at the rendezvous. But on the way.
think that sheep may have sent us on a wild goose chase? Yes, sir. <laughs>